Hello, everyone. This is Monica at MonicaKenton.com, and this is my first time trying the YouTube live section. So little by little, I'm um, hoping to get better at this. I'm wanting to talk today about dreaming. So one of the things I, I teach a lot of people is really being able to connect into their inner guidance, their systems of giving them clarity and feedback right away by starting to hone the processes of their messages from the dream time. So last night, I had asked for some guidance regarding a business decision that I was going to make. And one of the things that showed up in the dream were lots of different exciting opportunities. But the one image that really stuck with me was an abandoned shopping cart, right? And so for me, I know that the shopping cart means different things for me, that it might mean different things for you as well. So I'm just going to read a piece that I wrote regarding it and just add some little pieces to it. Okay, so here we go. There was something much more compelling calling me, yet I found myself with a shopping cart and needed to return it. You know, it was one of those fancy ones from this fancy grocery store, elegant and um, empty completely empty. And for some reason, miles and miles away, I was still pushing it around. I got so used to pushing it that I didn't even realize I had it with me. What did it mean? What was the symbolism for myself? I have to admit that part of it was this piece of prestige? What will people think? How will people react when they know that I have this wonderful shopping cart with me? So I had the opportunity in this dream, there was this uh, something calling me. And this calling was so great and so deep. And I knew that I could take it. But there is this part of me, right? This part of me that thought, I need to do the right thing. I need to do the right thing. I need to return this, even though it's been empty for so long. And yet at a certain point, what at what point do all of us just say, hey, you know, I'm done. I'm done with doing all of the things for what it looks like, what people think I need to do, how it was done. You know, at a certain point, whatever was in there, whatever was in our carts, whatever was in our lives, nurtured us, helped us. It served a purpose. But at what point are we continuing to bring this cart with us to all different places and nothing is there? And we cling to it because we're not quite sure what that other piece is. So in this dream, I finally just go for it. I let go of thinking I have to walk miles and miles and miles to return it. I know it'll be used by someone. So I take the less common road. And the one, because I know when I let go and I let spirit, God, universe guide me, that there's something much more fun. And so in this moment in the dream, I abandon that shopping cart. I let it go. I let the prestige, what it looks like, what it used to be, how it used to nurture me. And instead, I go one go into the one for liberation, more fun, freedom, and excitement. Now, this is a time for all of us in this time that we're living in to have those opportunities to change, to have those opportunities to let go of what we've been pushing along that really doesn't serve. It might be empty. It might look good. But is it in our highest interest? Does it give us joy? Does it excite us? And that is one of the things that I'd like to share with all of you today. Now, like I said, for me, I had a question regarding some aspect of my business. There were some other pieces within this shopping cart, shopping cart of business, all of that. And so realizing that certain things I used to do, yeah, nourished me and were great at one point, but that's not what I'm called to do anymore. Now, I could have sat here over and over for weeks debating this decision, but it just took one dream to give me deep clarity. And one of the reasons is because I continue to journal them. I continue to know. I can go back into my dreams and find the other dreams with shopping carts, and it will pretty much correspond to what's going on for me. Now, for me, the shopping cart was something. For you, 
it might be different. But where in your life might you be pushing something that's empty, that once served, but there's something equally more nourishing, joyful, and fun ready for you? I encourage you to take that step, take that leap, maybe into the unknown, but into that place where you just know that it's right and you let go of what you think you should do and do what your heart is calling you to do. Okay, that's my first YouTube live. We'll see how it goes. Ah, talk to you later. Bye-bye.